Welcome. I love your swimsuits and your beach attire. We are going to get this workout started. Um, so enjoy. I want you guys just to try to do all the moves as much as you can. But if you have to take a break, that's totally fine. Just take a break and then join us in on the next one. Okay, we're going to have a good time. All right, so we're going to be at the beach, right? So I want everybody to turn around with me, close your eyes, and when we open our eyes, we're going to be at the beach, okay? And open your eyes. <gasps> we're at the beach. Look at it. I see sand. I see the sun. I see birds in the sky. <gasps> you, are you at the beach right now? Look at it. We even have a beach yeah. set up. We have stuff to make a sand castle. We have an umbrella for a shade. So let's get started. I'm going to take my sunglasses off because I want to be able to see you guys. Um, let's just start with a warm up. So let's do some surfer stretches. I want to see you guys show me a surfer dude or a surfer girl. Okay. Show me some stretches like a surfer man or a surfer woman. Stretch out your legs, stretch out your arms. Oh yeah, you guys are looking good. We can even do some like cowabungas. We're gonna be surfing this morning. It's gonna be so fun, okay? Let's do what I call the beach chair hold, okay? I'm gonna turn sideways so you guys can see me and we're just gonna sit in a chair like we're at the beach. Ah, just relaxing. Maybe eating a snack. <laughs> Maybe taking a drink, get those legs kind of warm. Okay, let's do what I call the sandcastle pose. Take your arms up, reach all the way down to the ground, like your sandcastle. There you go, good stretching, guys. Okay, sorry, I gotta lose this. It's getting hot out here. The sun, the sand, everything. Okay, we're gonna actually get our blood pumping now. So what we're going to do is called the seashell shuffle. What that means is we're going to shuffle and pick up seashells. And I want to see out of your family who can pick up the most seashells while we do this. Okay, let's go. Let's do this for 30 seconds. Seashell shuffle. Say it three times fast. Seashell shuffle. It's hard to do. I don't know. I think I'm getting more seashells than you, dude. I have like look at all those seashells. Oh I have, yeah. I have eleven. Well, well I had twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Nineteen. Oh. 20, 20, I don't know if you're counting 20, right. Three, three, four, okay, now one. hold on your bucket. 20. How many seashells did you get? Twenty-five! Oh, I got twenty-five too! No, Good job. Good job. Alright. Now we're gonna work on something else. We're gonna do some crab walking. Have you guys ever seen a crab on the beach? They walk sideways. It's really interesting. So Jude's gonna show us. He's going backwards right now. Now come forward. Let's do that together. Come on down. Can I do my on your hands right? and your feet. Lift your bottom up in the air. And we go side. And then to the side. It's hard to do, huh? And those can crabs do, can move so fast. Can I do my pose after There we go. Crab walking. Ow. All right. Come on up to your feet. And then we're going to do my pose. You come stand right here, Jude. This is one of our favorite things to do at the beach. We see the waves coming in. And who likes to jump the waves? Raise your hand if you like to jump the waves. Here we're going to show you how we can imaginary jump the waves. We're going to jump, jump, and then run back. Good. Let's do this for 30 seconds. Ooh. Jump and run back. Oh, these are big waves coming. Whoa. Whoa. Uh -huh. All right. When you land on the ground, land really soft, just like you're in the water. So you're not even making any noise. Good, you guys. One more time. Nice. 
All right, Jude would like to show you the sandcastle big squat. Go ahead. Can you guys do that with us? Let's dig into the sand while you're sitting back, like you're sitting in a chair. Dig. There we go. We're getting a big hole. I'm going to put Jude in it. I'm going to bury him. I'm going to bury you. Good job, guys. Okay, let's move on to our next. So we've played in the sand. We've played in the water. Oh, where the sun? Who wants to get a little bit further out to sea? Anybody? <laughs> Everybody pick up your surfboard. Oh, I am. Oh, put it in the water. All right, hop I on. Need these pillows. You actually need good solid ground for this. So just do what I do, okay? Your surfboard's on the ground. We're gonna do a surfer lunge. So with your body facing forward, your imaginary board underneath you, we're going to scoot your bottom all the way back to one side. Bend this leg, keep this leg straight. And then you can put your arms out. Now switch sides. Look at you guys. You guys look like professional surfers. Let's do this for 30 seconds together. Go on the side, no. Go that way. I was showing you which way to go. There we go. Cowabunga, dude. Cowabunga, dude. Now when you go down, the best way to do it is to push your bottom back so that your bottom is going towards the back wall. Good job. Three, two, and one. All right. Stop. Now, um, this, this next part is, we're still gonna be on our board, but have you seen you know how the surfers have both their legs while they're riding? They're, both their legs are bent? Okay, that's kind of like a squat. Yeah, so like it's like you're sitting back in the chair, but we're gonna add something special. Let's get forward a little bit. We're gonna ride the wave, then we're gonna switch sides. Good, guys. Now let's do this for 30 seconds. Look at, we're riding the waves, we're surfing. This is amazing. Your legs might start to burn because you have to have strong legs to be a surfer. And three, two, one. Good. All right, guys. This is going to be our last leg workout. And we have ridden our surfboards pretty far out to sea at this point. You know what we're going to start seeing? How many of you have ever seen a jellyfish? I've seen five. I've seen a lot of jellyfishes. So, fish, fishes, you know what they look like. They kind of do this like bouncing motion. No. So what we're going to do is we're going to squat like a jellyfish and pop up and come back down. Good. 30 seconds. Here we go. Now, the key to this is not speed because although they move through the water really fast, we want to be careful so we don't injure anything since we are not jellyfish. So when you land, have soft knees. Don't make the ground underneath you shake too much. All right, in three, two, one. Good job, guys. All right, we need to go even further out to sea because there are so many amazing creatures that live in the ocean that we want to see. So get on your surfboard, everybody. Lay flat on the ground. We're going to swim. Let's go. This is going to strengthen our arms. You can kick your feet and flutter them just like a fish would do. And we're going way out into the deep blue. All right. Now we've gone pretty far, but if you're like me, your arms might be getting a little tired. So, Let's hop into a kayak. Everybody get into your kayak. 
All right, grab your paddle. It's like a long stick. And we're gonna row. 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 Even farther out to sea. Well, I wanna do this. Row, row, row your boat. Let's do it. All right, and let's end this in three, two, one. Guys, we are really far out to sea. If you look around, you really shouldn't be able to see the beach anywhere. That's how far out we are. So, you know, there are a lot of fish in the sea. You might see a lot of birds flying and around and, sharp. and swooping down to grab fish. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. I want you to stand to the side with your arms up in a point. We're going to be pelicans. We're going to dive down to get fish and swoop up. Good. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. Try to get as many fish as you can. When you come back up, you're going to want to squeeze your muscles. Good. 21. 22. Keep going. 23. 24. We've got five seconds. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Wow. Look at all my fish. You guys see them in my big beak? Oh, I got this many. Wow. I can see all your fish that you got. You guys really did good hunting. I got this one. That's wonderful. Now, Let's talk about starfish for a minute. Starfish. How many of you have seen a real starfish? How many of you have touched a real starfish? All right, let's lay our backs and we're gonna act like we are starfish out in the open sea. I want you to lift your arms and legs like a star. There you go. Up and down. Up and down, good. You're gonna feel your tummy muscles really help you while you're doing this. Good job, guys. Look at all of us. We're just a bunch of starfish swimming around the ocean. They bite stuff. Do they? Yeah. All right, let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, Two. One. And one. All right. We're going to stay on the ground. Oh. Sorry, guys. Stay on the ground. Take a little break. Lay down like you're a fish. I don't know about you guys, but I love the movie Finding Nemo and Finding Dory. And you see a lot of coral reef in those movies. So we are going to act like we're coral reef. Okay? Lay on your back. Now. We're gonna lift our arms up and our legs up and kind of make them look really flowy, just like the coral reef. Can I just do it like this on my knees? Yeah. You can just do your arms if you want. You can just do your legs or you can do both and look like those really cool homes that all those beautiful tropical fish live in. And let's finish with five, four, three, three two, one. one. All right. Um, we're gonna stay on the ground again. You keep getting up. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna back up so you guys can see me. Now, you get behind me, Jude, because we're gonna need this whole space so you guys might need to space out from your brothers or sisters. Lay on your side. Lay on this fin. Um. I mean arm. With your legs extended out. And we're gonna make our legs look like shark mouths. Because the sharks live way out here, don't they? Lift your leg up and put it down. Lift it up hey, God, and down. My mommy. Yep, you can't see him, but he's back there. Up and down. Okay, now show me the biggest chomp that you can do without hurting yourself. Wow! Wow, holy moly, look at all those teeth. 
let's do some baby shark. Baby shark melt. There we go. It's just a little pulse to make it look like a baby mouth. Wow, guys, I'm impressed. <laughs> okay, let's switch to the other side now. Get on your other fin. You can put your hand on your hip and we're gonna lift our leg up really big like a daddy shark. I'm not gonna sing the baby shark song. Unless, I mean, you guys can sing it. Let's do the baby shark now. Baby shark, do, 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 baby shark. That's all I got. Very good. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Man, you guys, you are doing so, so good. This is going to be. Look at the timer. Look at the timer. We are just blowing through this workout. We're going to work on our arms now, okay? You guys don't have to have any weights in your hands, but if you really want to, because you're super strong, you can grab two books or two pillows or whatever you want. But me and Jude, we're going to do it without weights. So we're out in the deep ocean, way, way, way out in the deep. And we encounter a big octopus. <gasps> How many legs do octopus have? Eight. Nice. So scientists actually say, they have eight limbs, they have two legs, just like us, and six arms. No, they don't, they have eight. They actually have eight altogether. But what I said is, scientists call two legs and six arms on the octopus. So that's what we're gonna work today. Oh, so while we're working our six arms, we're gonna work our legs by doing some squats. Do some squats with me. A squat is where you're it's just like sitting squat. back in a chair. Okay, make sure your knees don't come forward. You don't want that. Show you to the side. Just all the way back and up. Back like you're in a chair and up. Good. While we do that, we're gonna work on the octopus bicep. See this move right here? Your arm is tucked into your side and you just lift up and down. Good. Let's add in our squat while we do that. Here we go. One. Two, three, four. Are you squatting? Five. Try squatting. Good. Six. Six. Seven. Nine, eight. Ten. Eight. Let's stop at eight. You know, the theme of the octopus and all. Okay. Let's move on to a shoulder raise. These are the octopus's other arms that we're going to work. And let's start in three, two, one. Squat and lift those other arms. We are pumping iron. We're going to be some strong octopi. No. Octopi. Is it octopi? <laughs> no. We got to look that up. We had to do research. <laughs> Seven and eight. All right. Last set of arms on this octopus of ours. Put your arms in front of your face so they're bent at a 90 degree angle. Like we'll lift one arm and the other arm. Good, now let's add in the squat. One. This is gonna challenge um, your brain because we have to think about squatting and lifting an arm. Good job, guys. Now keep your arms up. Don't bring them down. We're gonna do about two more. And one, two. Woo, now show me your strong octopus arms and your strong legs. Wow. I, I think I can see some muscle definition in your octopus tentacles. That looks amazing. All right, guys, we're gonna just run through that whole thing we did again, okay? So let's get back to the beach, swim with me. We're going back to the beach. And we're going to start with our surfer lunges, okay? Grab your surfboard. If yours went out to sea, just borrow your friends, all right? <laughs> Hop on your surfboard. We're going to start with these surfer lunges. 
you stand a little bit in front. There we go. That way we have space. Here we go. Let's go on this side. Circle lunge. 30 seconds. Are you guys feeling stronger? One, two. Look at this. Surfers have really strong arms because they have to paddle out into the ocean. And they have really strong legs. Three. But you two, have to keep your legs on that one, board. Zero. <laughs> nice try. Three, two, one. Great job. Let's do those surfer squats. Here we go. Squat and turn. Squat and turn. Squat, turn. Squat, turn, good. Keep going, dude. If you get tired, you can just step forward and squat and step back. Good. Got five, One four, three, two, and one. All right, we're getting farther out to see you again. Oh, we're starting to see those jellyfish. Let's do our jellyfish squat. You can take a rest if you need to. We're going to squat and jump. You guys are doing so good. This is hard. It's not easy. But I know you can do it. We're almost done. Three, two, one. Good job. Get on your board, let's swim out to sea. Yep. Is Here we go. Swim. Swim. swim, 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 swim. Use those arms, use those legs. Holy moly, you're going super fast. All right. Now, this is surfboard. Grab your kayak. Hop in. This is a good paddle for you. Grab your paddle and let's row. Awesome. Okay. Let's move on to our next pelican nose dive. Oh man. Okay. How many fish do you think you're gonna get this time? Um, 13. 13? Okay. Let's see. One, two, three. Here we go. Five. We're going to go down and pick the fish up. They might be counting too, so let's be quiet so they can count. Wow, you guys are going fast. That's a lot of fish. Nine, three. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. All right, how many did you get? Fifty. I heard you stop on forty. I think you got forty. How many did you guys get? I get fifty. Amazing! So awesome! We are going to have a feast tonight of delicious fish. It's going to be wonderful. All right, let's lay on our backs. And let's do the starfish crunches that we did. Here we go. We're going to lift our arms and legs up, down, up, down. Really using those belly muscles, your abdominals, not to be confused with abominable. <laughs> All right, five, four, three, two, one. Let's stand our backs and let's do the coral reef. Leg up, down, arms up and down. Like you're flowing in the deep, deep ocean. <laughs> Wow, what color would you be if you were a coral reef? I would be orange. You guys remember what Nemo lived in? 
An anemone. An anemone? A minute? You guys know. All right. Let's come on up. Ow. We're going to do our octopus arms and then we're done. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. So remember, we're going to squat at the same time because we're going to use our two octopus legs here and then yes. the other six legs. So let's start with our bicep curl. Keep your arms close to your body and we're going to squat and lift up. One, two, three, four. Five, eight. six, seven, and eight. Okay, now let's do our arm raise. One, One two, five, three, six, four, five, six. Count with me. Seven, eight. Eight. All right. Now, when we do this one, because we have two arms, we're actually going to do 16 because 16 divided by two equals eight, okay? So let's squat down and lift up one arm. One, two, three, four, count with me. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, count with me, 13, 14, 15, 16. Good job, guys. We got one more thing to do, okay? This is a cool one. Really cool. Show me your best shark fin at the top of your head. Shark fin, wow. Now, take your fin and move it back. Without moving this part of your arm, good. Let's do this for about 20 seconds. This is working our tricep, which is the muscle right here in your arm. So when you extend, push it out, like there's something holding your fin back. Very good. Three, two, and one. All right, you guys did so good. We're gonna just do a cool down now. Our entire workout is done. You guys did amazing. I think we're pros at the ocean at this point. It's okay. All right. I want everybody to bend down on your knees. Do this part with me. This is how we're stretching now. We're cooling down. We're cooling down. Okay. So sit back kind of on your bottom, on your legs. Move your arms forward and just stretch out your body. Try to make yourself look like a sea turtle. This is where you get to take in some nice big breaths. And think about all of that hard work you just did. All right, come on up. Let's sit on our bottom. This is like gonna be my favorite cool down stretch. This is called the sea otter cuddle. You guys know sea otters cuddle, right? It's the cutest thing. All right, lay on your back. Grab your knees and cuddle your body just like a sea otter. Cuddle party. And keep your head down on the ground and just gently roll side to side. That feels so nice. We did a lot of work today, you guys. And I forgot to give you some rest in the middle of it. But you guys are good. You guys are strong. And we had fun. Okay, see so otter cuddle. I love this stretch. Okay, now lay down like a sleeping fish. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Don't go belly up, though. Yeah. All right, come on up. Sit on your bottom. Make your legs into a big V and reach to one side. You can't do that because you have your foot. Here, if you reach to this foot, reach a little bit. Do you feel the stretch underneath your leg? Let's do the other side. It's okay if you can't reach your toe. 
that's something that you can work on, that flexibility, but not everybody can reach their toe and that's okay. Oh yeah, okay, now take one leg, take a leg, scooch it behind your body. You're gonna have to turn a little bit, put it behind your body, bring this leg, pull it close to your body so the other leg is extended out behind you and then just bend forward. We could call this the seahorse stretch. Don't we look like seahorses? A seahorse, you know. Those things like float. All right, let's switch sides. Bring this other, your opposite leg back into the stretch and lean into it. Is this the last one? Almost. <laughs> okay, guys. Come on up. Lift one arm up in the sky. Come up on your knees. And then you're going to grab your elbow, bend your arm down, and we're going to stretch out our tricep. Good. Let's do the other arm. Just switch. Bring that arm straight up, take your hand, put it back, and grab your elbow. Very, very, very good. Okay, now bring your arms way out wide like a big bird that flies over the ocean. Put your thumbs up in the air, put your thumbs down. Good. Okay, take one arm, reach it across your body, and hold it there with your other arm. And let's switch arms. Other arm way across. Support it with your other arm. Looking good. Guys, we're done with our beach ocean workout. I am so impressed by you. You have done such a wonderful job. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day that you get to eat a yummy lunch. Maybe take a nice nap for your mom and dad. Um, and I have a really exciting announcement on Thursday. Jude and I are going to actually be doing an Easter egg hunt workout. Yeah. And you Mom, I'm going to explain it. <laughs> so we're going to hide eggs all over this room. And we need you guys to help us find the eggs while we're doing our workout. It's yeah. all part of the workout. And inside of the egg, it's a workout. Exactly. So if you guys aren't doing anything on Thursday at 11 o'clock, we're going to be doing our egg hunt exercise. It's going to be super fun and exciting because Easter is on Sunday and we are super excited about Easter. But I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. We will see you on Thursday. Bye guys.